BGP multipass equal cost load balancing or ECLB. In this video, I'm going to talk about the multipass. The first things that I want to talk about it is that what is the BGP multipass? What is the default behavior about multipass? And how we can configure the BGP multipass in ECLB BGP multipass can be configured in some ways. One of them is equal cost load balancing or ECLB. In this video, I want to talk about the ECLB multipass. Let's talk about the multipass. Let's first going to this best pass selection rules, and you can see that we have multipass after the next top IGP metric rule and before the age or oldest ebgp root now i want to you to talk about about this feature you know that in every routing protocol for example rip for example ospf for example eigrp or isis we can enable load balancing or for example load sharing what is the load balancing in igps load balancing means you can use some pass or multi-pass when we have experiencing root, roots or pass with same metric. You remember it, okay? You know that, for example, in EIGRP, if we have three roots with same metric, we can enabling or we can use the load balancing or multi-passing, okay? But in BGP, as you know, as you learn, by default, BGP try to finally select only one pass as a best pass. And this means that multi-pass is by default disabled in the BGP. Let's to show you this default behavior. For example, in R1, okay, first I, I should configure a BGP, rotor BGP1, okay, it's okay. Show let's we need uh, an ip address let's to configure an ip address interface eth 00 ip address 1021 255 and no shutdown after that we should enable rotary bgp1 it's okay show ip protocols look at here we have bgp now routing protocol is bgp1 you can see the maximum pass is one this means that by default in the bgp multipassing is disabled okay now i want to enable multi-pass in bgp this means that i want to use multiple pass if some for example parameters between this pass are same but we have now a problem in igps we use metrics because of that we can configure multi-pass to every for every pass that has same metric okay when four five three two or some pass have exactly same metric we can use multi-pass in the eigrp ospf rip isis but for in bgp we don't use metric when multi-pass can be considered can be important when enabling it only when some routes are equal until the next top IGP metric or lowest IGP, I, lowest IGP metric to next top. Okay, if some routes are equal exactly until the next top IGP metric rules, after that, if you enable multipass, multipass should work. But before that, for example, two we have two routes with different AS pass. Okay, if you enable multipass, multipass doesn't any effect. Okay, because of that, it's necessary to roots for roots that these roots are equal in every parameters or every best pass selection rules before the or or until the next top IG metric. After that, we can use the multi pass. This is the first things I want to inform you. Now you learn two things. One thing is that multi pass is disabled by default in BGP. And the second thing, second lesson is that we can use multipass in BGP, but for using multipass, because we don't use metric, the best pass selection rules should, can't 
enable or should can't select the best pass until the this pass this selection rules next up next up ig metric after that if you are using multipass multipass should work and the next question is that how we can enable multipass in bgp we can enable multipass for with two kinds or with in two types the first multipass is for for example ibgp routes and the second for the ebgp routes let's talk about both of them but for now first i want to configure this scenario and in this scenario i want to show you how we can using the multipass let's configure this scenario with the notepad file now we can understand that the multipass is in the coming to the game after these rules prefer lowest ig metric to next stop here okay if everything is is same bit until the nins rule we can use the multi pass okay very good first we should configure the scenario in r1 we have three interface eth 0001 and 02 also here and then the ip address of this interface 10121 and 10141 okay also we have another lookback interface interface lookback 0 ip address quad one and then quad two five five this is the configuration of our one and also we need to configuring bgp rotor bgp one i want to use only for example connected neighborship because it's not important for us in this video neighbor 10 1 2 2 with the remote as okay with the remote as of the 65000 and here again rotor bgp 65000 we have other two neighbors neighbor 10133 with the remote as 65000 again and the next neighbor is 10144 with the remote as of 65000 and also we should inject the network quad one into its into the bgb table of the r1 neighbor quad one with mask quad 255 this is the configuration of r1 let's to configure r2 in r2 we have two interface interface eth00 eth01 the eth00's ip address is 10122 and the eth01 is 10252 okay and after that we should enable a bgp in r2 rotor bgp 65000 two neighbor the first neighbor is neighbor 10121 with the remote as 65000 also we should enable the next stop self neighbor 10121 next hop self and we have another ebgb neighbor neighbor 10255 remote as 65001 this is the configuration of the rotor 2 let's go to the rotor 3 and rotor and rotor uh, 3 and rotor 4 okay copy the configuration of rotor 2 this is rotor 3's configuration host name is rotor 3 eth 0 this interface has ip address 101333 10 1333 and the eth 01's ip address is 10 for example 10 366 okay 10363 and after that we should configure bgp rotor bg 65000 one neighbor is 10131 remote as 65000 and again 10366 remote next up 10 10 